elected to give this presentation to show you that you can e use even Keynote for horrible bullet list slides. Um, the application that we brainstormed is called All Fall Down, and we're going to track who is falling down, where, and why. Um, it's, all, it's all based on the accelerometer. Um, people falling down have a distinct pattern that comes out of the accelerometer, so we can detect when somebody falls. Uh, the uh, technology is available today, so there's no reason not to build it right now. Um, what are we going to aggregate? We're going to use different levels because it might make sense for when somebody falls down to alert somebody uh, to come and help to get him up again. Uh, but you can also aggregate it on a level of a building. Who in the retirement home is falling down and where in the retirement home are the hotspots where people are tumbling down the stairs or whatever. Uh, you can do the same in a city. Where are the sidewalks so bad that everybody is stumbling? Uh, or on a global level, where do you do, don't want to live because your insurance policy will be very expensive because everybody's falling down all the time. And of course, build the uh, demographics of the fall prone, so it's not just geographic data. Um, <coughs> what will we be using on a machine-to-machine uh, machine, uh, level? Um, it can be as basic as just your phone and SMS to alert your caretaker, I've fallen out of my wheelchair, come and pick me up. Uh, but in a building you could use roomware-like uh, uh, hardware or Bluetooth because you only need the data within the building. Um, and that also means that you don't actually need to use SPIMES all the time because if it's in a building you already know where it is and you can use Bluetooth to detect what corner of the building it is. Um, or it could be scanners in public places, parks for instance. Uh, machine to human. Um, Again, it's different levels, so you have different uh, uh, cycles. It could be SMS. Um, you could keep your own profile somewhere so that if your personal caretaker is not available right now, uh, it, it just phones the next one in the list in your profile. Um, you could map data onto blueprints of buildings to see where uh, stuff is happening or use uh, uh, Google Maps for local and global information. Um, open questions. Um, the tricky bit is probably in the one-on-one -on -one communication, to, uh, because on an aggregate level, false positives don't really matter, but on a one-on-one -on -one level, false positives really do matter. And there's probably a shitload of stuff that we haven't thought of, so that those are open questions as well. Thank you very much.